What is up everybody, Ron Blue, back again with another video for you guys. We are here with Wild Thing 1967, Monterey Pop Festival, Jimi Hendrix. Without further ado, we're gonna just jump right into this. <laughs> this is really one of the more iconic but still funny videos because these people that came to the show they look like what is going on here like they literally look like that and i believe another video that i've seen recently was it leonard skinner i think it was leonard skinner and i think it might have been one of their first tv appearances and those people looked perplexed very similar to how how these people look right now within this 30 seconds but um what I, I I I love it. I love it. Let's continue. <laughs> So what I really, what I could really appreciate about this particular performance is the fact that he really, this was, this looks like a lot more of just enjoying the moment, just being literally right in the moment. Um, I know Band of Gypsies kind of get into, it gets into a little bit more explorative, if that makes sense. Cause this, this, the Are You Experience, like the Jimi Hendrix album was definitely, a, a, um, it was a journey to listen to. It was a journey to listen to. But the Band of Gypsies, like the uh, Machine Gun, um, performance that he did was a lot more uh technical at least on the guitar more concentration on the guitar more so than just being like just having fun with it and i'm not saying that he was not enjoying it because the that is that performance is extremely iconic however this one you could just see he's a little bit more into it um and that's just, and, and again, that's just one part of a full performance, but he's younger and and he was young when he passed. He was only 27, so, and I think that was 1971. So he was early, early 20s here. Um, really, really crazy um, that he, that he accomplished all of this in, in this amount of time and, and 
what, maybe a five, six year span? That's, that's insane. <laughs> See, I think this right here, this this is like when you really get into a lot of music that we hear today playing it up like, you know, I don't know if this is double time or not. Um but like changing the tempo and a heartbeat like that. Um I'm not sure. I, obviously, I wasn't around around that time, but if I'm not mistaken, it just wasn't done like this. It just wasn't done like this. Even to the point as far as when it comes down to like modern day music, beat switches and things like that. Like when I'm thinking about hip hop, um, things like that happens and there's an origin from it. And I believe performances like this are truly an example of where beat switches come from, where tempo changes come from. I mean, he's doing like rolling on the ground, playing the guitar. This, this is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. But it, again, it's, you can still see the joy in it, like where he was like, there was a hunger for uh, to be different um in this in this one and i can't explain it between the two like i said the machine gun performance in this one but it's distinctively different distinctively different Let me know as well is there a is there an interview out there that he speaks about lighting you know uh, about this particular performance let me know in the comments sure. come here uh, sub it to me one more time again all shucks I love you <laughs> Here's the thing. Where do you go from playing behind your back to I'm, I'm I'm about to do what I'm about to do right now? Like 
where like what is the thought process in that it's already just insanely different as is you could tell on everybody's face there like they're like you you never expect where like where this is going to go i think that's what's just so entertaining about it It's almost borderline scary because it's like I, I can imagine like you're your front row or like you're just there and you're seeing this happen. It's like what is he do like he like what is happening? Like what what is happening? Like even to this day, as many times as I've seen this video, it's still one of those things to where it, it really shocks me to like comprehend in real time what was going on in his mind to to be like okay this is going to be the next level right here but yeah As people look on, I just wonder even what the band members were looking like. What is happening right now? Like, what is happening right now? Um, and to still be playing, I, it's just, this This is just one of my all time favorite videos to just go back to. Part of me I wonder as well is the people like some it looks like at least some of the the um, people in the crowd like some of it it looks like it's, you're getting real time reactions and then other parts kind of look like maybe like it was kind of pieced in there I'm not I mean you know this is 1967 where editing wasn't the greatest so you know, I kind of maybe you can assume that at least that this was real reactions, but some of those people's faces really just doesn't match. Like the only one specifically is the one that's like, wow, like that's like clapping her hands. Like, wow, this is like absolutely insane. Like, um, but all the rest of them kind of look like, you know, like, hmm. Another day at the park, you know, some of them, you know, like I said, some clips look like they're in shock, which matches up to what he's doing. Um, I just wish I could go back in time and catch the neck of this guitar. Um, and you guys let me know also, too, where is this guitar today? Is this in a museum? Did, did, did they auction this? I mean, obviously, um, it is not. They've replicated it several times uh, in, um, through Fender, but... 
Um, but as far as I mean, like the original burnt up, broken neck, is that uh, in a museum somewhere? That that has to be somewhere uh, in a glass vault somewhere. There we go. Absolutely insane, guys. You guys let me know what you guys think about this performance. This is, again, absolutely... When I first saw this performance, it was literally right when I first started playing guitar 10 years ago. And this performance was, like, one of those things... Like, that, I, I just remember the first time seeing this was, like, this guy really set a guitar... <laughs> Oh, on fire like it was just I could not believe I really could not believe it um so it's just one of those things that I always love going back to but you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this performance um if you enjoyed this video be sure to like share subscribe to the channel this is the only channel that you're going to be getting videos like this guitar covers guitar lessons unboxings and so much more I just dropped a guitar lesson that is with Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga, that's Die With A Smile. So check that out as well. Um, hit the bell notification button so you know when I drop these videos and you know when I respond to you all's requests to do reactions as well.